welcome back to Fred back in his shed where he belongs and we've still got this annoying crackle here coming through on all my radios um, yeah we think it's a PLT noise and I'd like to say before I get this video started a big 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 thank you for all the people that have left comments and are continuing right now to leave comments on the other videos that I've done on this PLT noise yeah cheers thank you ever so much I've read all of your comments um, for the go those of you that are leaving links to other YouTube videos and other websites thank you very much just be aware though that if you do leave a hyperlink in any comment it automatically gets taken into my spam folder on YouTube I have no control of that and then I have to go through and manually review the comments which I will do but it does take me a little bit longer sometimes it can take me uh, a few days even a week to catch up with all of the stuff in the spam folder so if you do leave those comments and you don't see a reply or you don't see it posted on the channel it's not that I've ignored you it's just that is what has happened I will do a separate video on a lot of the suggestions that people have tried unplugging the antenna we're going to go back to a car battery I've charged up my spare car battery I can't switch the mains power off at the moment because I've got people working from home and furloughed but I will be uh, doing that on a future video I'll just go on to battery power I'll go on the back and see if that solves a problem. Um, if, you, if some people have said that, you know, chuck, chuck the Antron 99 and put up a 2016 or some metal antenna because the Antron 99 is a very noisy antenna. I won't be doing that, to be honest. I'm sticking with my Antron 99. When I put up the speaker cable the other day, uh, that also picked up the noise. So I don't think it is the antenna. The, the, the Antron 99 may not be helping, but I don't think that is the problem. To start this demonstration, if you like, we're going to use just an empty channel and uh, this is when the PL2 noise is at its worst well almost an empty channel and <laughs> so much DX about it's on all the channels it's amazing um, I'm going to turn the filter right away sorry about my hand in the way right away off to number one now and then we'll turn it on and then we'll gradually increase the filter now what you have to remember with this filter is that although it will eventually knock out all of the background noise it can make the stations coming in their audio seem a little bit uh, artificial it's almost like they're a little bit robotic so I found the filter works best one to three it starts getting a little bit odd when you go beyond that but anyway let's, let's have a go so that's off let's switch it on number one and then I'll increase it. So that's at number five, that, that's quite high. And uh, that's right round to number, number seven, that, that's way too high there. So I'm gonna back it off to about number three. Yeah, it's still there, isn't it? I'm going to switch the filter off now. Let's get the filter off. Switch it off. definitely hear the filter working um, as I say I, I don't like to use it to on such a high setting but it definitely is helping reduce that noise it's slightly you're slightly losing the sensitivity of the receive but that PLT noise is still there and it's still underlying and it's really really tough to try and filter out it's a help it's a help um, it's not the solution though 
it definitely is not the solution. Right, I'm gonna, so I'm going to carry on with this on another video. We're going to try out a few more ideas. We're going to try a horizontal um, antenna as well. So we're going to lay an antenna down in the garden. We're going, to, we're going to take the antenna out of the back of the radio, test to see if it is switch mode noise coming in from the power supply. But uh, yeah, I, I think the filter will help if I can find something to reduce it. I think this filter will help, but it's not going to cure it. It's uh, not going to take it away. It's just too strong. But that's it for this one. The BHI join line filter. Yeah, it, it did okay. It did okay, but it's not going to be the uh, overall solution to my problem. But uh, well, keep tuned, subscribe if you want to see further progress on me tackling this PL2 T noise. I know a lot of you have got the same problem. A lot of you have said, yeah, Fred, we've got exactly the same problem. So we'd really be interested if you can cure it. I'm going to keep trying. I can't promise that I will be able to rectify it but uh, I'm going to be trying. One more thing is yeah I have asked a couple of my neighbours um, how they get on with their Wi-Fi if they've got Wi-Fi extenders and a couple of my local neighbours said no they're not using any Wi-Fi extenders so it could be someone down the road uh, or someone on sort of a lot further but uh, hopefully hopefully I will cure it if I do cure it obviously I'll make a video and let you know. But that's it for this one. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Catch you on the next one.